The road's not been easy, but after a protracted negotiation process, the Bahamas Public Services Union today signed on the dotted line of a multi-million dollar industrial agreement. Cleopatra Murphy starts us off this evening. A contentious negotiation process came to an end as the Bahamas Public Services Union and the government signed a new $40 million industrial agreement at the Ministry of Finance Monday for its more than 4,000 members. Among the agreement's benefits, retroactive July 1, 2022, that expires June 30, 2025, is the public service minimum wage increase that takes salaries from $11,450 a year to $13,520 a year. Minister of State for the Public Service, the Honorable Pia Glover Roll, outlined some of the compensation, including salary increases along the pay scale. Disturbance allowance was increased from $1,200 to $1,500 per year, and a transport allowance was increased from $250 to $300 per month. Uh, there were other allowances and mileages. Another great caveat was the Royal Bahamas Police Force, Defense Force, and the Bahamas Departments of Corrections received an increase in pay from 18000 per annum to 20000 per annum. A shift premium was also introduced, and while no one gets all they asked for, Glover Roll admits the agreement is a good first step. BPSU President Kimsley Ferguson says there are moments of disagreement, but assures union members can now get their just due. There were persons who uh, were qualified based on the standards that we do have in the industrial agreement for hazard allowance, which were those security officers as well as persons at the meteorological office. Um, again, we are still awaiting a response in that regard. We were seeking either to get some insurance coverage or the hazard allowance for those individuals, particularly those security officers in the schools. Ferguson says while there was a uniform allowance increase, police, defense force, and prison officers have greater needs. Based on the increase in the cost of living, we find that the increase could have been looked at for those individuals in a special way. And so that communication or that item was forwarded to the negotiations team. I'm advised that consideration may be given to it. We don't have a definitive response in that regard at this time. In terms of increments, the union president says he is pleased with what the union has secured for its members at the low end of the salary scale, but he is eager to return to negotiations when the agreement expires. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.